Hello and welcome back to the Estranged Development Blog series. In this video I'm going to show you how to create uh, these modular wall pieces here, these mod modular rock pieces rather, uh, from the rock texture. So these are used in between the uh, concrete here and they tile horizontally and vertically. Of course you can't see the vertically there, so I've scaled down some examples here just to show you um, so these are, these are completely tiled. Obviously this looks a bit strange so you want to break it up when you use it in the level but it means that you can use, uh, you can use just use a rock face uh, rather than having to put a full rock mesh in there just to achieve kind of a, a small effect. Here's another example, slightly different one, uh, higher fidelity but not really as, uh, it doesn't jump out as much. Uh, and here's a final one uh, with a completely different texture. So the one at the back there, that's 512 triangles. The one in the middle there, that's 8,000. The one at the end, it's 8,000. Uh, you can completely control how many triangles these have when you generate them. So to start, the first thing you need to do is get a height map for your texture. So if you look at this one, the Cliff 02, look at the actual texture here. This is what the texture lo looks like, and this is what the height map looks like. Now this one I got with this texture, um, but you can also generate them. It's not a very um, scientific process because it's kind of guessing, but if you can use a program like bitmap to material uh, you give it the texture, and then it will algorithm algorithmically generate the height map like this. So you can see this one at the minute is completely different to the one I have in, in Photoshop here. Um, but you can tweak it until it until it gets it kind of half right, uh, which is good enough for this, this situation. So I'm going to show you how to apply it to a mesh. Uh, so if I go over to Blender, this is the expected final result. Um, so I'm just going to undo all of this. There we go. Let's just work backwards. So I've got my plane here, and it's got two triangles. I'm going to add the uh, add a modifier to it. Notice I'm in object mode here. I'm going to add the displace modifier, and this will allow me to just displace the uh, the mesh using a texture. So next thing I've got to do is select the texture. So if I go over to the textures panel here and click new, and then I just select one I've selected earlier, uh, but you pick it here. This is how you select your image on disk. Uh, just this section. And then you can go back to the uh, modifiers panel, you pick the texture, and then you need to set the texture coordinates to UV and the direction to whichever direction your plane is facing, which in this case is the x-axis. And then you can adjust strength. Now because this is just two triangles, this isn't doing a lot at the minute. So what we need to do is subdivide it. So if you go into edit mode and then subdivide it a few times, I'm going to go up to uh, 256, uh, sorry, 512, which is the version we have in game with this. You can see that's exactly the version that we've got in game. Uh, I'm going to subdivide it once more just to show you what it's like with a lot more detail. And maybe once more, I think this will be 8,000 triangles. Yeah, there you go. So very high fidelity. I actually didn't like this when I did it this much, so I settled on 512 being a good value for this. Uh, one thing to bear in mind is you need to turn off uh, texture filtering or uh, interpolation, sorry, in Blender. Otherwise the texture or, or the mesh, sorry, won't tile properly. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. So if you export this, import it into Unreal Engine, then you have a uh, tiling mesh that you can use in your level. Uh, and it's as easy as that. Um, that's it for this development blog video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any, uh, if you have any questions, Drop a comment or email me. I'm alan at alanedwards.com.